My love, I have a question for you. Yes, my love. Ask me anything. Do you watch Jay from the Cub Scouts? Yes. I love him so much. He's so awesome and he's so funny. Did you know that he actually uploaded a new video right now? Oh my god. Thank you for telling me. I'm going to watch him right now because he's so funny. I'm actually going to watch him as well. So I guess we should both get ready and buckle up because here we go. First myth of today's episode is... Jay, I have a question. If you post something on Facebook, will the rainbow haired girls respond or will it be someone new? Because they were removed from the game. And it's true guys, the rainbow haired girls are no longer in the game. If you go into the fountain, you are gonna see no guys here, the cooking guy putting his cooking club nutsack in senpai's face, Whoa. and you're also gonna see no girls over here. And I think that the only way for me to post something on Facebook in the first place is to learn new info about Kakona doing that weird stuff in Shisuda Town. So we are just gonna chill right here and learn the new info, and then we're gonna be talking that shit online. Today I saw Kakona in Shisuda Town. She was engaging in compensated dating. Hoshiko said, LOL, this is so going on my blog. Kokoro said, seriously, what a whore. Hana said, I always knew she was a slut. I bet this is just the tip of the iceberg. Kashiko said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make sure everyone knows about this. And Masuma said, lol, get absolutely exposed. All right, so there you guys go. I actually thought one of the rainbow haired girls were gonna respond and I was gonna say, okay, so we have like some ghostly students responding to this message. But Yandere Dev was already a step ahead and he had all the bullies reply. So to answer the question, if you post something on Facebook, the rainbow haired girls won't respond, but the bullies are gonna make sure that they get in that ass. Can you give an octo dog to a student that already ate from another student all right so i officially joined the cooking club we are also gonna make our lovely octo dog yeah. and i've seen a lot of questions about the cooking club you guys want me to try to frame kakona since she's not in the cooking club anymore but how am i gonna frame her with a knife if she's not even touching the knife in the first place guys look at me my yandere fingerprints are all over that knife not kakona's if she's not even in the cooking club how am i gonna frame her guys come on you guys are better than that. Okay, so the cooking club guy is gonna give Octo Dogs to the Basu sisters. So let's see if we can give it at the same time. Nope. Okay, we can't talk to her when she's eating the Octo Dog. Let's see if she loves mine even more. Wait, I can't even give her an Octo Dog. Hold on. It just makes me talk to her. What about you? Uh, hold on. You can't even give them anything. Okay, guys, so let me try something different. I restarted the day. Let me try giving them Octo Dogs before he does, and let's see if it breaks his routine. So let me give you one. Free food, sure, I'll take one. And then you two. Free food, sure, I'll take one. So where does he go? He still gives it to him, right? Yeah. So they get a double Octo Dog. They get the double stuff. Let me see if I'm right. Let me test it out on a few more students. He's going in here, and he's going to give an Octo Dog to Kudere, and then let me try giving her one. I can only talk to her. So yeah, I think I got to beat the cooking club guys to the punch, and I can't give them any Octo Dogs if they talk to somebody first. Who's he going to? He's going to the guy in the corner? Not on my watch, baby. Take my Octo Dogs. They're better. Yeah, you take my Octo Dogs. They're better. Who's he going to go to? Left or right? Oh, you're going to the right? I don't think so, baby. And then... <laughs> All right, guys, let me do this one more time because I want to just confirm it. I'm following the cooking club leader around. I'm going to offer these girls Octo Dogs first, and then they're both going to take it. But then now he doesn't even go to them. I gave it to them first, and then he gave it to them also. But then this time he's just walking away. Let's try this one. Let me wait until he's a little bit closer, and then I'm going to give Kudera the Octo Dog. Here we go. Free food, sure, I'll take one. And then he did a 180 and he's out of here. Let me just try this one more time because I want to make sure. I'm going to give her an Octo Dog. And then he skipped her and actually went to the other sister. So to answer the question of if you can give an Octo Dog to a student that already ate from another student, the answer is no. If the cooking club guy gives an Octo Dog to the student first, then the option to give them food won't even pop up. But if you give it to them first, then the cooking club guy is just going to go away. Hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. Jay, I got one. One, join the cooking club. Two. Make sure it's Wednesday. Three, when Kakona takes a poop. How is that even like a thing? How is that even like a number? Four, when she is using the bathroom, give her an Octo Dog. Five, see what she says. Winky face. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Kakona's just gonna say, sure, I'll take one, while taking the fattest chimichanga shit in the history of Academy High. But we're just gonna make sure because you never know. Because if somebody's taking a poop and then you open the stall and then you offer them an Octo Dog, obviously you're gonna freak out. But let's see what Kakona does because she's special. All right, guys, Kakona is now in the bathroom. I'm just gonna wait for her to sit down. There you go. So we're just gonna open the door. I can't open the door. Why can't I open the door? Let me in, Kakona. Don't you dare lock the door when I'm trying to give you an Octo Dog. And she already flushed. That was the fastest shit in the history of shits. Hold on, let me offer you something. I can't even give her anything. You know what? 
I'm going to be in the stall while she's taking a shit. And I'm going to offer it to her before she can even close the door. We are just going to wait for her to enter the bathroom. And then when she closes it, where the hell are you going? Where the hell are you going? Get in here. Get your ass in this stall. I swear to God, Kakona, if you don't get in this damn stall. Get in the stall. Get in the freaking stall. There you go. Okay. And I'm going to go with you. There we go. And I can't feed her. Can I feed her? Guys, there's nothing above her head. I can't feed her. She flushed the toilet. I'm sure she didn't wipe because there's no toilet paper in here. But she's not even accepting the food. So I don't know what to do. What the? Bitch? Wait, where are my octo dogs at? Bitch? You knocked my octo dogs off my plate and you giving me that look? Oh my god, people these days, man. Oh, there's my octo dogs. Thank you. Okay, I'm sorry for blowing up in your face. I'm just gonna go now. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time for the homie DJ Screw because I'm frustrated right now, guys. I'm frustrated with Kakona. I'm frustrated with the octo dogs. I'm just frustrated in general. So we are gonna go inside the stall. And then we're just gonna have a good time right over here. And I'm gonna give her the Octo Dog before she even uses the toilet. So let's feed her. Actually, wait, drown? I ain't trying to drown you. I'm trying to feed you. What the heck? So to answer if you can give Kokona a hot dog while she's using the bathroom, the answer is no. That is officially debunked. On to the next one. Will Gemma, the president of the gaming club, still have his task if you kill all of the tan girls, Masume and her friends? Okay, so we're gonna make this one really, really easy. I'm just gonna eat a bunch of their asses right now. And I don't know why I chose this one because they're gonna run. And they are gonna get on their phones and then I'm gonna be screwed. Look at this. They're all gonna run at one time. I chose the wrong thing. I'm power walking, they're power jogging, and now I just screwed myself. Okay, guys, I need to stop being a jackass and just go into Ebola mode and then run into a conga line like this. And everything's good to go. Okay, I can't get too close to Gemma because I still have Ebola. Keep that in mind, guys. So we're gonna talk to him right now. Why are you interrupting me? And then let's see if we can still get the task, even though those girls are all dead from Ebola. He still gives me the task. Really? You'd help me with this? All right, you know what, guys? We're gonna try it this way. We're gonna end all their life, but we're not gonna activate the task. We're gonna end the day, and then we are gonna talk to him the next day, and let's see if we can activate it then. You can. All right, guys, so to answer the question, can you actually have the task if you kill all the tan girls? Yes, you can. There's just gonna be no way to complete it, though, because there's gonna be nobody to talk to. On to the next one. One, do Gemma's task. Two, go to the next day. Three, kill Gemma. Four, Will Masume and her group be on the outside of the gaming club staring at nothing, or will they go back to their routine? Okay, so I've already done Gemma's task, and now he has this new look. But before I kill him, does anybody prefer the old way that he looked? Like, with the spiky hair and the facial hair? Because this dude, I mean, yeah, he has the hipster glasses, and he has a freaking monytail. Like, come on, dude, you have a freaking monytail. No girl likes a guy that has a double scrunchied monytail, I swear to God. But anyway, we gotta end this dude's life, foo, but I can't do it because they're already crouched down. They're spying on this dude hard. And I can't close the door because their freaking tan heads are in the way. All right, let's try this a different way since the bullies want to be nosy little hoes. I got my katana for your mama right here. We're going to put it right through his rib cage, And then we're going to burn him right in the incinerator. And let's see if the bullies make their way here during lunchtime. Okay, so the blood stain is still here, but they can't notice blood. So I think we're good on that. And the bullies are starting to come this way. I think that they're actually going to come to the door, are they? Yeah, they are. All right, guys, so there you go. Even if you kill Gemma, they're still going to come here. They might just be looking at the blood. They might be going, oh my god, is that Gemma's blood? That's so hot. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. Hey, Jay, I have one. One, do Gemma's task to make the bullies like him. Two, lower Gemma's reputation. Three, will the bullies bully Gemma even when they like him? And will they still watch him? Okay, so it's 5.59 right now, guys. What we're going to do, we are going to go into the student's menu. And then we are going to go all the way down to Gemma, who has a smiley face next to his picture. And then we are going to lower down that reputation like this. Nice. And then we are going to end the day just like that. The leader of the gaming club is gone. The gaming club cannot operate without its leader. The club disbands. God damn it! Okay, let's try this again. I talked to all the girls. We are going to complete the task. And then I'm going to lower his reputation, but not too far down, because then he's going to be a little bitch and not come to school. So let's lower it down to a good old 50 bomb. And then we are going to end the day. And let's see what happens. So guys. Guys, there's Gemma right there holding his arms with his sexy self. The bullies in the back are probably saying, damn, he fine as hell with that money tail. Okay, so now it's lunchtime, guys, and Gemma is chilling right here. And let's see if the bullies go inside this classroom, are they? This girl doesn't look like she's going inside the classroom. I think she's going to actually go somewhere else. 
Yeah, she's going downstairs. So Gemma's inside this room, sad as hell because he's getting bullied. And this girl's going downstairs to the gaming room to spy on him with her horny self. Whoa. I am so confused right now. Yeah, guys, all the girls are going towards the gaming room, but Gemma is inside of his classroom. So I don't even know what the hell they're looking at. Look at this. They're like, oh my God, he's so freaking hot. But bam, nobody's in here. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below. And I will choose the most creative and unique ones but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude